walk it in. Oh, it's another penalty. Absolute beast. And this is what I'm saying. They need to, like, really kind of... What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player review. This time, we are taking a look at Matoma. And this guy is an absolute beast, lads. But you have to play him in certain formations and with certain tactics. And especially if you've got a play style that favours out wide formations. Because he makes a lot of excellent runs. That if you are playing centrally, you're not going to be able to really play him as an SS. Or as even somebody that's going to be cutting in uh, centrally to shoot. Because he is a very traditional winger. So he does suit my play style if I'm playing out wide or possession based player. And I want my team to react you know, and play by their positions. You'll see all the amazing runs that he picks up. Up. he's excellent at staying on side a lot of wingers are very nearly too fast for themselves and obviously the cream of the crop is the likes of Dembele I think Diaz is exceptional as well with his stats but you know there is a couple of weak points in Matoma's game but this is the formation that I would play with him I'm getting a lot of joy out of this formation I'm playing a sub tactic as well which you'll see in a second so he's starting as a left midfielder he is down as a left midfielder and then I am pushing him forward and I can always adjust this to go 4-2-4 four four if I need to to and put Matoma and Ito both into advanced winger roles as well. You've got the cover from Maldini and Timber and you're able to just completely dominate the wings. And it's just the positions that he takes up and his feet and his overall dribbling. He's not the quickest player. We'll have a look at his stats and the different cards that are available for Matoma in a bit. But look at these for feet. Absolute beautiful feet. Excellent dribbling skills. Um, he's got it all. And I think the thing is, man, sometimes it's better to play with slightly slower base players that are more technical. And he doesn't even have like extraordinary skills like where like you know he's in the 90s in all the dribbling stats but it's just that his AI and stuff seems to be extremely strong and he's one of these players that are famous throughout Pez and now in eFootball as well that they play above their stats Timber is one Graven Birch is one Bellingham is one this guy is one as well now you will need to be a very kind of specific player to use somebody like Matoma if you are using wingers um, you know, they're not as dominant as they used to be before, because we all know at the moment the meta is play as central as you possibly can, keep it as narrow as you possibly can. So, you know, this is a hard player to review because the meta has changed so much. I think if we were talking about eFootball v1.0 when the game first launched, I think that this guy would be top, top tier and, you know, an actual 10 out of 10 like Dembele. Um, but for this guy, you're talking about everything that you could possibly want. This is his standard card. So he's only 9,000 GP, which is nothing. He's a Roman flank. 70 left midfielder 70 overall left midfielder you can get him for pennies lads he is so good he's got loads of player skills i originally feature i originally had this guy way back when way back when on a hidden gem series of mine a lot of people were sleeping on him um and he was absolutely incredible and as you can see here there are his stats for a maxed out version of him that i have in my squad and then this is the version of him that I would recommend building up if you are looking for the non-Japanese national team player pack. So this is the normal version of him. You can see there that he goes to 87 acceleration, 86 dribbling, and then the rest of his stats are kind of middle to the road. Um, whereas this guy, the Japanese pack, I think he's one of the best players, one of the best wingers there. 90 dribbling, 92 acceleration. I know what I was talking about saying that he's not the fastest, but 82 speed isn't ridiculously fast. Obviously, it takes a while, but he just seems to be as quick as anybody, man. He seems to be as quick as Dembele, who's got 90 and 90 in speed and acceleration. So he just seems to provide a really nice spark on the wing. And then we've also got the player of the, the week version who, again, you look at that 82 speed, you've got the 85 acceleration, but you've got better kind of low pass and lofted pass. And, uh, you know, you've even got aggression stats there as well, which is quite unique for this card. He does win the ball back quite a bit as well for a winger. Um, the big difference between this card and the other ones is this guy has a long range curler. As you can see there, that is a really key um you know stat or if you don't have good shooting skills you can kind of turn him into a shooter that's the thing you need to pick your poison man with a lot of these players because like you're not going to get unless you have Messi Mbappe whoever like you know the top 100 overall players you need to pick your poison as to what way you would attack with them and defend with them right anytime I do a review you're looking at the player AI movements you can see there that he's gone so far wide you can see there that's very hard to defend yes I'm going to have to go back in centrally to build an attack and I've only got two men up front whereas he's got six at the back defending my two boys that have made the runs in Romario and then Gretzka but look at the width I have I've got three recycles here that I can just spray the ball back out and build an attack and you know this is very frustrating to play against if you're very comfortable in possession you'll see as this chance goes on 
He thinks I'm going to go direct. I cut back in. Goretzka is here. He's going to slide it out. Little one too, or a Mario. Slot back in, and then we've got somebody on the back post, and it's just an unlucky chance for us, but nearly. We do get a goal out of that eventually. Again, it's sprayed out as a different match here. Sprayed out wide, and he's getting loads of space. Going to cut in here with a chance. Excellent chance. Nearly get the header off. Doesn't work. Very similar here. This is against the AI, and it's just defeat. You know, it's just a blistering pace of defeat um, that doesn't really really kind of show on the stats it's the pace and the movement gets into a really good area lovely little fake clip back and then it's another good chance that goes missing but look this is what it's all about if you are playing winger right little trick lovely double touch and look at him open up the legs that does not look like a player that is you know slower than other players and again the shooting does let him down so this guy is not like a swiss army knife he's not going to do everything for you he's not going to be able to you know be like neymar where he cuts in like that and finishes the ball with a finesse shot he is a different type of player he's a more traditional winger i would say him and sane are very alike um from bayern munich then Bele you know where you're not going to be shooting now he can shoot as well you will be able to get used to his shooting uh, style and if you do have the long range curler version of him you will be able to smack in shots on either foot depending on your skill level and depending on you know the positioning of him when you set him up but I've had a ball playing with him I am using the Japanese version of him but I did use way back when as I said earlier in the video I did use his original card um which I had back in eFootball 2022 and yeah you know just go in and play around with him check him out to see what you think of him in training mode just doing a little bit of showboating here with keepy uppies um he's one of the most technically gifted uh, dribblers in the game now i know a lot of it gets lost in translation if the connection isn't good online so um you know you do have to practice like for like online is different and obviously the responsiveness of everything here but i think they will tune that i think they'll bring dribbling back to the fore with the next big update and um, that's just my uh, prediction and my suggestion to them i think is to get the dribbling back you know and make it very fair but give us the tools of manual defending as well but yeah just a bit of a showcase with him i am going to give him a rating and i think to be honest lads i could have went anywhere with this i was trying not to be biased because of having so much fun playing with him and he just seems to be even when i don't win games he's just he's just brilliant crack to play with so i do give him a rating of eight out of ten i think that's pretty fair and it puts him in line with some other players that i've reviewed I don't think that he's like the ultimate meta dribbler. Like if you're playing a 4-3-3 or you're playing a 4-2-4, which seems to be, um, you know, the meta now at the moment, you are going to be playing, you know, the likes of Neymar and Messi, who are not really traditional wingers that are going to be taking on men uh, because you're not going to be playing out wide. You know, if you're playing the meta or you're playing the overpower formations and stuff. But if you're looking for a bit of fun, you're looking for a bit of possession, you're looking for a bit of out wide play, this guy is the real deal, and I think he's absolutely worth a shot, especially for 9,000 with the standard card if you haven't spun his other cards. So that's it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back later. Peace.